And good evening now. We begin tonight with the upcoming November election. With 26 days to go, Richland County is still in need of poll workers. News 19's Peyton Lewis is in studio tonight with a look at the latest numbers. Peyton, are they going to make it? JR, from what we're being told, it's slowly but surely coming together. As of tonight, Richland County is still sorting out their election staffing situation, money funding the polls this year, and making sure the people working the polls are properly trained. We actually all we all in a really good place and we are doing everything that we can and, and that we tasked to do to make sure we make this election go off without any issues. The Richland County Board of Elections met Thursday to kick off their weekly in-person meetings leading up to this year's election. Up until now, the board has said they'd been struggling to find poll workers. Terry Graham, the board's interim director, has said they need at least 1,200 workers to adequately staff the polls. They already got uh, 1,033 assigned poll workers, so we're still looking at getting about another 167. and. I mean, we're not going to stop there. Graham explained that every 250 voters registered for a certain precinct determines how many poll workers are assigned to each location. Hopefully by the end of next week, we have that magic number. The board also talked about money, saying they're over budget for the upcoming election. There appears to be uh, we're over budgeted on some stuff. So if you can kind of help us. To understand, it, it, it'll balance itself out. But for it to, if you look at the budget, it always looked like we are we are in the red. Graham says poll worker training started last week with a packed session immediately following the board meeting. Guys, poll managers are essential essential to conducting good elections. Workers are encouraged to read their training handbook and study before getting up bright and early to help out on election day. On election morning. When you get out of your vehicle at 6 a.m. or 5.45 a.m., please lock your political views in your glove box. The board and those working on Election Day now have less than a month to sort everything out. And the board is encouraging everyone to vote early this year to lessen the crowds on November 8th. Early voting starts October 24th and goes until Saturday, November 5th. Reporting live in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.